Hi, I'm Tom Fulbright from Scale Robotics. And what we have here today at Fabtech is a robotic arc welding system where all you need to know to be able to use a robotic arc welding system is how to weld. You don't have to know anything about how to program robots. You don't need to know anything about uh, how to operate a robot. You really can. All you need to know is how to weld. So the, this thing is, is aimed at the welder. So the first thing you always do is we scan the part. You have a part here that I'm putting in a random position. doesn't matter where it is. The robot doesn't know anything about the part. All it is is, is uh, the parts just in front of the robot within a certain area of the welding table. Now the robot will take a scan. So you see the robot moves moves above the part and the robot has the camera on the excuse me, the camera is on the robot. So what we're doing is taking many, many images of that part and putting them together to make a 3D model on the spot. So it's really important that the robot and the welder see the part at the same time. So everything's done at the same time. That's why, that's why we don't have to need any CAD or anything like that because we're developing the model on the fly. Then what we do is we say the best way to teach a robot is to teach it as if it were another person, another welder. The way you teach a welder where to weld is you basically point at the weld and you say, I want you to weld here, or here, or here, or here, or these are the places. So what we do is we use our teaching device here and you just click where you want the welds to go. That in a so now the robot has finished the scan, it's processing the images, and a few little moments the images come up on the screen. So what we can see here is the robot now has a free image of what's in here. So this is the same thing at the same time I get there. Now I'm going to start teaching. What we do is you always do the same sort of uh, process. You always do an approach, a process point, and then a part. Come here on the screen. You teach an approach point. You teach a weld. Another weld. Straight on the part. And that's all there is to teaching robot. It's literally that simple. I say stop teaching. What we'll do is I'll validate the path in the simulation. That's just to make sure that we can reach everything. And then we send it to the robot. So now the robot has everything it needs to know about doing that well. What it doesn't have is exactly where that well will go. But what you can do, is now the robot can so now the robot, what it needs to do is it needs a feel for those positions. We have all the information we need to make it. Uh, make it uh, do that well, but it needs to fine tune. So what we do is we choose tune, auto tune. What the robot will do now is we'll go down and we'll feel for every position that we taught. And that gives it a very, very close tune. So now when you're when you're up welding, you generally want to be within half a wire width of the of the actual seam where the, the planes of the metal meet. And we, we, we get even better than that, because we're using an actual wire tip to feel for that metal. What we do here is, the robot comes in, and it puts the, once it's felt at the point, it puts it right in the corner there. And now this is an opportunity for the welder, with his welding knowledge, to come in and say, I want to jog it over a little bit, or I want to change my torch angles a little bit. You know, maybe he knows that the metal's thicker on one side than the other, so you got to put more heat on one side than the other. It's all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of idiosyncrasies that we weld. And, the, and what that what the welder is doing is he's putting in his welder's eye, his welder's knowledge into that weld, you know, teaching the robot, really teaching the robot what is the best way to do this particular weld. Now the robot's going in and, and finding the second point that I caught, and it'll, it'll put the, the wire right in the corner there, and it's, you know, right in there. That's good. So, as a welder, now I've given the robot all the knowledge it needs to be able to do a really good weld. We'll do a little quick uh, run through. And as you can see, the path is exactly in there. It's a great path. And then we'll run it for real.
just using that same path again. Pretty welding on. All right. That's it. So, as you saw, in the space of just a few minutes, I went from a new part to a new position, no prior knowledge at all from the robot's perspective, to scanning the part, teaching where the path should go, doing a very fine tune, and doing beginning a great weld in about three, four and a half minutes, somewhere in there. But that's the whole process. I didn't have to know any robot language. I didn't really have to know how to operate anything particular on the robot. I didn't need any CAD. All I needed to know was. What does a weld look like? Where should the welds go? What should the torch angles be? And that's it. Just things a welder would know just by walking up to the front. So that's scalable robotics at Baptist. Thank you.